Hi everyone, this is Kristen with The Tech Reviewer. Thanks for joining me for my quick unboxing of the iPhone 12 mini. So typically I am a big phone person, not a small phone person, but there's something about the 12 mini that is just extremely appealing. The big question for me is will it be big enough? It's certainly going to fit pretty much anywhere, any pocket, any handbag, whatever, but I'm worried that it's going to be too small to actually use. Let's get this unboxed and check it out. I also have the iPhone 12 Pro and the iPhone 12 Pro Max so I can show you how it looks compared to all three. Let's get started. Unboxing it. Wow, it is so cute. What a great color. First of all, I'd like to say that I wish they had put this blue in with the pro colors as well, maybe with a matte back. I love my Pacific blue, but there's something about the blue on the iPhone 12 series. It is just extremely appealing. Really nice. Really cute. But setting this aside, seeing what else we have here in the box. Not much. They've really pared down their boxes this year. The accessories that we have in here are really quite minimal. All we have is a charging cable, and this one doesn't even come with the power adapter that you would need to make it work. So you might be thinking you'd be able to use one of these little iPhone charging blocks you probably have lying around your house, but unfortunately these are USB-A, and this is USB-C, so you absolutely can't use it. So you're going to have to go out and buy this guy, which is $19 and it's going to allow you to plug this USB-C cable in here to charge your iPhone. But actually what Apple really wants you to do is go ahead and buy this guy, which is your MagSafe charging cable, and this is going to be able to allow you to use the cool new MagSafe charging functionality on your new phone. However, you can't just stop with the MagSafe charging cable. No, you still need to get that same power adapter I was just showing you because this charging cable doesn't actually come with a power adapter. So these two together, you got 39 for this one and 19 for this one. So you definitely have some additional cash to shell out if you want to enjoy the full functionality of your beautiful new iPhone 12 mini. So going back to the star of the show, Getting this unwrapped the rest of the way, notice that we no longer have a plastic top sheet. We've now gone to a paper top sheet. I'm sure it's much more eco-friendly. So looking at our iPhone 12 mini, this is just a beautiful little phone. I'm loving the blue color. It's just a really vibrant, beautiful blue. Not a gray blue, not a green blue, just a beautiful blue, particularly the aluminum sides here. They look absolutely great. I love the aluminum sides that we have on the non-pro phones, by the way. The stainless steel sides you have on the pro models look great, and they may be a little bit more durable, but you can get such great colors here in the aluminum. They look just beautiful. And looking at the back, well, this glossy glass back does look beautiful. It's a beautiful color, but it picks up fingerprints basically instantly. This thing is already covered with fingerprints, and it's only been out of the box for like an hour or something like that. So, yeah, I wish that they had gone with the matte glass we have on the Pro models on the back here, but they didn't. They do have some matte glass over here in the camera area, but that's it. The rest of it, you just have that glossy fingerprint magnet glass. Really not an issue, though, if you put it in a case, which, of course, this phone is always going to be in a case, so I really shouldn't be complaining about it. So size-wise, how does the iPhone 12 mini compare against its larger cousins? We got a 5.4 inch display on here. Really very easy to fit in your hand. If you want to compare this to the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro size, so these guys have a 6.1 inch display. So definitely a much bigger phone and a much bigger screen with your iPhone 12 Pro. And then if you want to bring in the big guns, we have our iPhone 12 Pro Max, which has a 6.7 inch display and is clearly absolutely enormous in comparison with the 12 mini. So I guess it all depends upon what you're using your phone for and how much screen real estate you really need. Also, perhaps how big your pockets are. 
In terms of internals, Apple didn't skimp on some important components for the iPhone 12 mini. This has the same chip as the other iPhone 12 models, the new A14 Bionic, and it also has access to 5G. So if you bought this phone in the US, you're going to have two types of 5G available to you both the slower sub-6 GHz 5G and the faster millimeter wave 5G. But if you purchased it outside the U.S., you do get 5G, but you don't get access to the fast millimeter wave version of it. And of course, if 5G is not available in your area at all, then 4G LTE is going to work just fine. Our screen is beautifully bright, absolutely lovely, almost edge to edge. It is an OLED screen, no more LCD screens. It's something that Apple calls an XDR retina display. This is a 5.4 inch diagonal screen, really huge for such a tiny, tiny phone. So the old plus size iPhones used to have a 5.5 inch display. This one's got a 5.4 inch display, almost as big. It's amazing how much screen is packed into such a tiny device. And this is also going to be a super tough screen as well. It features the new ceramic shield technology that Apple developed, which is going to give you four times the impact protection for your screen as compared to last year's iPhone. So that is a huge jump in screen protection, so that's wonderful. However, keep in mind that's for impact protection, not for scratch protection, so you probably still want to use a screen protector with this device. Our front camera is 12 megapixels. It's basically the same front camera that you're going to find on the iPhone 12 Pro and 12 Pro Max. There aren't a lot of improvements in the front camera this year as compared to last year, but we do now have a night mode and something called deep fusion. We do still have a visible camera bump here, so you definitely want to keep this in a case so that this area is well protected. We have two cameras here, a wide and an ultra wide, as opposed to the three cameras you get with the Pro Series. We also have less optical zoom. There's only 2x optical zoom with the iPhone 12 mini. All of the iPhone 12 series phones have the same amount of very impressive water resistance this year, an IP68 rating, which says that the phone is rated to survive up to 30 minutes of immersion at a 6 meter depth. That is really, really deep. Although it's important to note that Apple does say that this water resistance may decline over time and that water damage to your phone is still not covered under warranty. So if you're planning on swimming with your phone, I would advise putting it in a waterproof case. Finally, in terms of battery life, a small phone does equal a smaller battery, so you're not going to have quite the battery life with this lovely and pocketable phone as you're going to get from its larger cousins. But other than that, just a really lovely phone from Apple. Definitely a great choice for people who are looking for a small and pocketable phone with impressive upgraded internals. Thanks so much for joining me for my iPhone 12 mini unboxing. My channel focuses primarily on Apple accessories, and I'm going to be reviewing a whole lot of cases and screen protectors for the iPhone 12 mini, as well as the 12 Pro Max and iPhone 12. So do hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. And do let me know what you think about the 12 mini. Is it too small or just right? Tell me in the comments section below. Again, this is Kristen with The Tech Reviewer. Thanks so much for watching, and have a wonderful day.